What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. So just a quick video today. Everyone is asking me about Inzaghi. Now I actually do have Inzaghi and I had him way back when I got him a long time ago. Um, he is available for 5,000 points in the eFootball shop. So if you are new to the game, there is a banner there uh, from the main menu if you just keep scrolling there. But anyway, if you go over to shop, you will see there that he's in the shop, right? So eFootball points, we have got 5,000 eFootball points. Inzaghi is, or we've got 27,000. Inzaghi is 5,000. And yeah, I mean, look, this card, right? There's a couple of things with this card that you need to know. Firstly, this card is an old legend card, right? So he does not have the team playstyle proficiency locked to 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. He has it at 60 for possession game, 55 for quick counter, 70 for long ball, 65 for out wide and 35 for long ball and long ball counter is 70. Sorry, lads. Um, he does have a really, really nice card though, right? So I'm going to give you a couple of pluses and minuses about Inzaghi. I have played a lot of matches with him. I've tested him out. I had him way back when. Um, heading, he's really good in the air even though he's a smaller player. Long range shooting, rising shot. I found that most of the goals I scored with Inzaghi were little one touches. He spins off the shoulder and then he gets the return and first time shot, boom, banging it back at the net, banging him in. Because of, the, because of the way his card is built, the reason why he can spin the defenders, you might hear me talk about spinning a defender when you have a player like Romario or somebody like that. You can do it both ways, right? You can either do it with like a first touch control, which is manual, or else if they do have one touch pass, you can just, you know, hold L1 on PS5 or PS4 or L trigger, I think, or LB on Xbox or PC. And, you know, you're going to be passing and moving, touch and go, one touch pass. His passing skills aren't great, but because he has that one-touch pass, the minute he does that, it's ready, and he's ready for rock and roll back into the goals. So I wouldn't be playing Inzaghi any other way, right? He does have standard form. This card does have standard form here, but he is on B rating, so that's something to keep in mind. He has acrobatic finishing. He has a long-range shooting, heading, first-time shot, outside curler, and super sub. So you're going to be getting a boost with the super sub when you bring him on in the second half. Now... Right, so this is my version of Inzaghi there. As you can see, we do have him maxed out. We are going to train him up. I had him trained up a little bit. Um, so we don't need a second version of him. But I just think genuinely, lads, he is going. He is, he is a really, really good player, right? I've just given him one into dribbling. I'm going to give him two into dribbling. We're going to go 80 with the acceleration to get that balance and offensive awareness up. Just going to leave that at that. Uh, because he's not going to be the fastest player. We do want that at 90. So that's where we want that. The speed, we're not too concerned about speed. I might just pop in one or two there into speed to bring it up to like 80 stamina, maybe 79 speed. And then I'm going to pump the rest in to finishing. 86 finishing is enough. 90 offensive awareness, 82 acceleration. That's going to give us a 90 overall player. I'm not too concerned about uh, having him at the maxed out um, 91 overall. I mean, with the auto allocate, they are given a little bit more into speed, but less into uh, acceleration. So that's not what I want. I want him to be kind of, I won't say lightning quick, but I do want him to be fairly quick, right? And when you do have that acceleration and offensive awareness um, kind of as high as you possibly can, I think that that's probably enough, right? We can kind of mess around with it a few bits and pieces and see. In the air, he's fine. We give him one into that. Um, dribbling, we'll give him one into that. And then we're going to give him three into shooting. I think that's probably where I'm going to go with it on, in hindsight, right? That's where I'm going to go with it. 80 speed, 82 acceleration, and 90 offensive awareness. Although, to be quite honest, lads, he doesn't really need... Um, he doesn't really need that kind of... I think I'll give him one more into shooting because he doesn't really need that speed, you know? So that's kind of how I'm going to train him up. We've got, like, limited ability in the air, but he does have heading player skills. So that's how I would train him up there, um, if you are wondering. And as you can see there, the duration of the contract. I have only 71 days left with Inzaghi because I got him as one of my first ever players. I think, yeah, Paddy V, Inzaghi, Romario, Nakata, uh, Puyol... And then Reese James was the first player that I bought. And then I got Donnarumma, Munayin, Corona, and the rest is history. So that was way back with eFootball 2022. They are my first players. Obviously, Patrick Vieira, he has similar. He's only got 71 days left as well because that's when I started playing. But lads, look, I made a mistake when I was boosting up a lot of these legend players. So don't make that mistake if you do buy Inzaghi in the shop. Uh, for players that are, you know, with the team play style proficiency. Because, for example, like Vieira and Romario, 
I only gave them 75 in out wide play style proficiency, which does limit them a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. So yeah, lads, I think that Inzaghi is a beast. I definitely think he plays way above his stats. And that's just it for another quick video. I will talk to you later. Peace.